What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. A very frequent question that I get from my viewers and clients is, hey Lloyd, what do I talk about with a girl that I just met? Now, this is something that I used to be very, very good at, and I used to do this all the time. And when you're meeting a person for the first time, what you're really doing is you're really seeing if that person is someone that it makes sense to keep talking to. If it makes sense for you guys to have some sort of relationship in the future, okay? You don't know for certain, you don't know for sure, but you're seeing if they're cool you're seeing if it makes sense okay so what I'm gonna give you is I'm going to give you five things that I like to talk about to start the conversation and see if this person is someone that you probably want to connect with or if it doesn't make sense then you guys can go your separate ways no harm no foul and now you have an acquaintance Okay, so uh, the five things that I'm going to be talking about are questions that you have. They're not so much things that you can use to like uh, create like a super flirty and have a lot of sexual tension or whatever. It's probably not something that you want to do at the very beginning when you start talking to somebody. You want to wait for that sort of stuff. Um, but I would recommend is go by these five questions and you're going to see if this person is a good person for you to keep talking to. And if you want to know how to keep talking to that person, I would recommend you check out some of my other videos. Uh, for instance, how to never run out of things to say is a great one. Um, you know what to say, you know, the five questions I ask every girl when I'm out is another one that's pretty similar to this, um, but any of those videos can help. So let's get right into the five things. Number one is an observation. If you walk up and you start talking to somebody, it probably means that you noticed something about them. You know, maybe they're wearing a certain dress or, or maybe they have a sweatshirt from a college that they went to. I like to comment and talk about something that I've noticed about them. And this encourages you to get more observant in your own life, which I'll be honest with you, a lot of men are lacking when it comes to being observant. So when I walk up to somebody, I usually like to bring up something that I've noticed about them. Maybe their hair is all sandy and wet because they were at the beach. Uh, maybe they're in their workout clothes um, or maybe they're dressed up for something, okay? this is These are all things Things that you can bring up and talk about. Now, if it's someone that you've just met that's out of nowhere, you know, obviously make sure you keep your distance and make sure that they're okay with you even talking to them in the first place. Okay, the way that you figure that out is when you say hi, when you first ask the question, you know, see how their body language behaves towards you. And if they're comfortable talking with you, then keep talking with them. If they're not, then just, you know, give them a high five or, you know, thank them for, uh, for stopping to talk to you for a little bit uh, and then go on your own way. Thing two is if you can't think of anything in terms of an observation to talk about, I would recommend just going into a location-based question or a location based topic. Okay, this is something that people usually talk about at the beginning. In a normal flow of conversations when people are meeting each other, at some point in time, they'll usually ask them, hey, where are you from? Okay. This, is at, this lets them know if they're in the area, this lets them know if like they live in the same city as you or if they're visiting for the weekend. You know, if I meet someone, especially if it's at the bar or if it's at somewhere else, I wanna know if they're a native or I wanna know if there's someone who's just in there for a little bit of time. This changes the dynamic. If they're only there for the weekend, yeah, sure, we can have a little bit of fun, but I know they're going to leave. If they're there for a long time and they live really close to me, then we might even be neighbors. It would make sense for me to meet them anyway. Okay, so all of these details matter and this is going to be the type of things that you should know to see if this is a person that you want to meet in the future, okay? But if they live far away, they're not really in the area for a while, then it might be good to just have this conversation and leave it at that. Three, interests. This is one of the things that I like to talk about right away if I can, or pretty soon after I meet this person. I wanna know what their interests are. I wanna know the stuff that they like to do. If they like to do the same things that I like to do, then hell yeah, at the very least, I found a friend, or I found someone that we can do stuff with in the future. Uh, I wanna know what kind of person they are. The way you can start talking about somebody's interests is you can ask them, hey, what do you like to do for fun? Now, sometimes I've found that this topic can be a little bit tough for people to answer right away. So I like to talk about some of the stuff that I like to do for fun right away and then what that does is it allows them to start thinking about things that they like to do for fun too because I shared first okay now once you've done this figure out some stuff that you guys can do together or if you guys don't have any similar interests maybe learn a little bit more about what those interests are sometimes people will tell me you know their interest is like uh, I don't know underwater basket weaving okay and if that's the case I'm like wow that's awesome I don't know anything about underwater basket weaving tell me more about it like what is it what do you do and it allows me to learn more about that person um, and kind of be uh, you know still keep the conversation going the fourth thing is relationships 
People, you don't know who they are, but you know they probably have some relationships with people. They probably have friends, family, loved ones, okay? I wanna know about some of these people. You guys might have some mutual friends. In fact, if you do have mutual friends, that's one of the things that I would recommend that you start talking about at first because it eliminates that stranger danger factor, okay? Now you guys kind of know each other or are connected in some way. So I usually talk about my friends and that encourages maybe her to talk about some of her friends or you know who she's with at that moment. You know, Is she in the town visiting with her girls for the weekend? Is she, is she living there and does she kind of a homebody? She doesn't really have that many friends. Well, maybe you can be one of her friends, all right? So this is what I like to talk about at the beginning. It takes the pressure off her and uh, gets you talking about your relationships with other people because at the end of the day, our relationships make us who we are. Five, and the last thing is what she's doing right then, okay? If she's in the middle of something, like she's late for work, you probably wanna know that pretty quickly. Is she uh, just in town for the weekend, like I said? Um, is she trying to have fun with her boyfriend? Probably wanna know that too. That might be something you find out when you guys talk about relationships, all right? I wanna know what she's doing right then and if it makes sense for us to keep talking or if it makes sense for us to keep hanging out. For instance, if I'm out at the bars and I meet a girl who's like on a bachelorette party, I probably don't wanna to talk to her because she's having fun with her girls, she's getting drunk and she's in that sort of environment. I'm looking for someone who wants to meet me. And if that's the case, then I'll let her do her own thing and I'll go do my own thing too. But if you say something like, um, if you ask her what she's up to right then and she's like, oh, I don't know, I'm just hanging out and seeing what's, uh, what's going on, that probably means she's looking to do something fun later. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to invite her to do something that you're doing, okay? You know, very frequently I'll meet people outside, I'll meet people just kind of walking around, and then sometimes we'll just have a glass of wine right then and there and get to know each other for a little bit. It actually happens a lot more than you'd think. But if you don't ask that question, you will never see if that's on the table or if that's, uh, if that's possible. Cool, all right you guys. Well, those are the five things. Like I said, if you wanna add stuff on top of that, like flirting and stuff, I would actually wait a little bit. You don't have to do too much when you meet them. The first thing you're just trying to establish if there's any sort of like commonalities or interests or if it makes sense for you guys to keep talking. So those are, those are what these five topics usually try and figure out. And then if you wanna add stuff to it, I would recommend that you take a look at some of my other videos to figure that out. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Um, if you're interested in getting coached by me or for one of my courses, take a look down below in some of the sheets there. I think a great one for this would be the Practical Approaching System, which teaches you how to walk up and talk to anybody, anywhere. You can find that down below. It's only $67. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.